Imagine you've been shot, stabbed, burned, and minutes later your skin seals, your bones reset, and you walk away. No scars, no weakness, just the same unkillable man. For most of us, death is permanent. For Logan, it's a temporary inconvenience. But what if I told you? His powers aren't just comic book fantasy. That science is already finding ways to make us more like Wolverine than we dare to believe. Wolverine's signature ability is his regenerative healing factor, the power to repair massive tissue damage almost instantly. In real life, some animals already have this. The axolotl salamander can regrow entire limbs. The planarian worm, cut it in half, and each half grows into a new worm. Scientists have identified a gene called P21, which in humans prevents cells from dividing uncontrollably, but also slows regeneration. Suppress it, and our bodies could, in theory, regrow like Wolverine. But here's the catch. Without control, that same process could cause endless, cancer-like growth. In other words, to become Wolverine, we'd have to dance on the edge of immortality and self-destruction. Wolverine's bones are coated in adamantium, a fictional metal that makes him virtually indestructible. But in the real world, there's a metal called titanium, lightweight, biocompatible, and incredibly strong. It's already used in surgical implants, and scientists have experimented with titanium foam that could be infused with living bone tissue. Theoretically, a human skeleton could be reinforced with such materials, but the surgery would be agonizing and lethal without Wolverine's healing factor. This is where Logan's biology works as one perfect machine. His regeneration makes his metal skeleton possible. Wolverine's powers aren't just physical, they're psychological. When he's injured, adrenaline floods his system, boosting regeneration. But with Logan, that adrenaline surge is amplified by something primal, rage. In real biology, adrenaline temporarily boosts the immune system and speeds up clotting. Pain is dulled, reflexes sharpen. For Wolverine, this is supercharged. His brain has likely evolved to embrace pain, not fear it. This would make him terrifying in combat. The more you hurt him, the more dangerous he becomes. But immortality comes with a price. Logan's healing factor slows aging so much that he outlives everyone he loves. His mind must carry centuries of trauma, every loss, every war, every moment of pain, forever. Scientists warn that if we ever unlock regenerative immortality, the psychological toll could break us long before our bodies fail. Memory becomes a burden, and death a luxury you can never have. Right now, science is closer than ever. Gene editing tools like CRISPR could modify our DNA to speed healing. Advanced biomaterials could reinforce bones. Neural reprogramming could help us handle pain like Logan. But to truly be Wolverine, we'd need all of it regeneration, durability, pain mastery, in one perfect biological storm. And maybe that's why Wolverine fascinates us. He's not invincible. He's not a god. He's a man, surviving a world that's been trying to kill him for over a century. The question isn't, could we be Wolverine? It's whether we could live with the cost. <laughs>